The reason we're looking a bit different right now is because we had a wardrobe change. But we're back in this bitch. Oh, yeah, wardrobe change. One, one week later, we accidentally listened to the first uh, <laughs> 10 tracks and um, didn't realize that's not the full album. So we're going to finish it seven tracks <laughs> right now. Um, so we'll still leave our conclusion in, but we'll have a further conclusion on top of that. Yes, we will. Um, so yeah, last seven tracks of the album. Brockhampton, Saturation. Saturation. Let's fucking go. Part two. <laughs> this is very Kevin Abstract. If you know Kevin Abstract, it's very Sounds like the answer. Swim by Brockhampton. And if you uh, have listened to uh, Kevin Abstracts, who's one of the members of part of Rockhampton's uh, All American Boyfriend last album he released last year, that track's uh, a bit similar to some of the stuff he did on there. So I think a lot of the inspiration from that track is drawn off of that last album. So check it out if you want. It's all right. I, I didn't mind it. It was a cool track. Melodic, rhythmic. Just a bit, a bit different than most of the album we've heard so far with, with, the, with the guitar. I can't even remember if there was a heavy guitar. And but I feel the album's, tracks. album's had like a lot of difference to it, so it fits in in that sense. Okay. Because like, you know, some of the auto tunes like are very different. Some of the beat choices, like, I feel like the production of this album would cater a lot of the different artists that have come together. So they're sort of like blending all their sounds together. So this might be a sound we're not familiar with yet from them. But this, this sounded very Kevin Abstract to me, this track. It was cool. I dug it. I was a fan. Consider me a fan of that. And he's looking like a surgeon over there. So you're about to perform surgery. Next track is Bump. I wonder if it bumps. Oh shit! Okay. He's going to switch up like that. Big He's gonna go back. It's... Oh! Woo! Yeah! Oh! That definitely bumped. As FIFA would say, that bumps in the whip. As <laughs> shout out Dead End Hip Hop. Shout out Dead End Hip Hop. As uh, my mother would say, turn that ignorant music off. It's gonna turn you into the devil. She didn't say that. I'm joking. Nah, shout out to Sharon, man. Shout out to Sharon. She's the coolest mother around. Best. I was. That was. I, re I really. I enjoy. <sighs> You know, the cadence of that song is a little different to what I hear. When we hear a, a, a song that traditionally bumps, it bumps the whole way through. But what they did there, we get a bump, and then we get somber, calm, uh, melodic. Then we bump again, different artist. Calm, but somber, melodic. Bump again, different artist. It worked. I like that track a lot. That was cool. I liked it. It got me moving. Nah, man, it's a good, great track. Got like, I like how they structured it. I think that's a bit dun, more dun, creative than what we're used to hearing. Dun, 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 dun. Next track is Cash. I. Getting that, ah, oh, them dollars. <laughs> Fuck you, Fuck you. They really, I feel like they're combining rock and roll and hip hop in a really cool way. Just I, I hear that with the guitar. That's true. Hang on, I want to find, I want to find the lyrics for this third verse. That third verse is so good. I just talk to myself here. Yeah, I got a dream I'm willing to die for. I got a team I'll commit a crime for. Got some dead homies I ain't get to cry for because I'm working for my freedom while the world cry war. Ooh. Cry wolf when the shepherd finds a way to strike gold because the stock's gone crash and the dollar gone fold. Ooh. You don't need that. The poor eat the rich when there's no profit. They gave you the floor, but you brought up the wrong topic. That's the verse. That's mm. just a fucking good verse, man. That like Kevin? Oh. That was Don McLennan. I don't know who you are, but you got bars. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, the world's probably about to know who, who they are. 
Definitely. Nah, I really... a great track. Well, sorry, like you were saying, um, the, the guitar, sort of that sort of style of music mixed with the hip-hop, like sort of the same with the last track and the track before that was most a bit rock. So it's sort of like the way they're blending them together is like really, really well done. Because mm. like how I got into music is t- traditionally like rock and roll kind of roots for me personally. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. That, that type of more alternative stuff. Not much, but just like a little flavors here and there. So it's, it's, it's cool to see. Mm. I'm definitely hearing injury reserve sort of influences oh, all, over this, all over this album too. Uh, this is skit three. I'm going to go straight into skit three to milk. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to milk you later. Uh, yeah, what about how you feel? Crazy if I did that. Wouldn't be talking to you. I'm walking through the pit balls of the cops. Pretty good. At first, I thought the hook was a little like, mm. but then the more I listened to it, the more it just made sense. Because the rest of the album sort of had that sort of like, just blend of genres and he, like huge amount of voice to, uh, distortion as well. I really liked how they storytelled uh, that uh, story of like their life because he was getting personal. It was kind of telling yeah. trials and tribulations. And if you go back on Skit 3, it basically, it looks like it mimics or it kind of preludes to that. You don't know which is your place in the world. You don't know which is your place in the group of your friends. Um, basically finding your identity it sounds like yeah because it was saying about how like what it's about finding a friend or something like someone they could really count on I can't remember what he said but like I don't know I dug that um I prefer it when they rap um that's just my personal preference I don't really uh listen to this type of alternative what do you call it alternative rock I'd say this alternative hip hop that's all it is I'd say um I wouldn't uh say that's hip hop but that's fine they can be whatever they want to be it's just not the type of music I really uh lean towards so you know, it doesn't really feel much for me, but I can get how people would really like that. I'm a fan. Second Ooh. last track is Face. It's the one that everyone told me is like the good one. <laughs> Such a fucking good song. That's a dope song, man. I was like in a trance. That man. hook, though. Da-da-da. That female vocalist. And was even dope. like the uh, like the bridge sort of outro there that, that they did. I don't know if that was a female. You don't think so? You think oh, they've man. altered their vocals so I much in this? Hey. I think it's a guy doing falsetto. Yeah, it's a guy doing falsetto, and they've just raised his vocals a bit more. I think. Man, that's dope. So you are saying I can go into the booth, get you to change some effects, and now I sound like a female? Yeah, I know a lot of rappers that do that. Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That's that's definitely true. That's my ignorance. Childish so. can be in a red bone. That's my ignorance. Um, I'm learning. Childish still gets stuff about people thinking that red bone's been like voice altered. Yeah, I did first. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, most people. And he just he, he keeps up to say in interviews like that's me. But that mm, that's, that's a dope track. Um, it's a really good track. I've one thing I've noticed like at the end of like when we first thought of the track was 10, 10 tracks, the album was ten tracks. We're like fuck it, it's a good album. But yeah. after hearing more, the album's actually better. The album's better than we originally thought. It's definitely not worse, I'll tell you that. But for a 17-track album, most tr- albums that are around 17 tracks, it's hard for me to think an album is really good because, you know, more room for error. Mm. Or more track, more, more chance for filler. Yep. I've only had, like, there's only been one filler track on here for me, which was Tupac. Okay. Which, you know, I'll go back to it, but, like, besides that, like, the other four, like, 13, 14 tracks we've heard or whatever, like, they've all been pretty good. And they've all, like... Agreed. They've all, like, clashed really well in terms of how the different genres they're blending with are just, you know... As the album's gone along it's just working for them they've got a sound at the moment that not too many people are using or if no one's using sounds like you're reviewing the album right now what <laughs> I last track is waste <laughs> I'm the 
Welcome back, Tom Hanks. Ed Sheeran vocal vibes with Beauty Behind the Man is production vibes. Oh, it was an alright closer. It's, but we didn't. We haven't heard a track where they've done full singing. Well, yeah. I'm not too sure what he was talking about. Sounded very uh, Kevin Abstract once again. A very, very uh, big vibes from All American Boyfriend. But you know what? That just shows us. I look. I think about the whole album now. This group is so dynamic. We've very, heard so many different sounds. Very dynamic, man. Very dynamic. Like if we we compare them to Andrew Reserve. Andrew Reserve are uh, production wise, they're very eclectic, but. Mm. We look at uh, Brock Hampton now, and it's now vocally they're vocally a lot more experimentally well. yeah. experimental. No, it's, I think that's a really good way to put it. They've got the same sort of experimentation, different like production, just you know, lots they can do with it. But their vocals are a bit more out there too. So, is it like cohesive as a concept? No, but is it meant to be? I don't think so. I feel, um, like, I feel like that. That's if, fine. If these guys kept making music and kept doing a lot more together, they could. They could make this sort of music and actually, like, because a lot of people will think this sounds keys. If I think in ways it doesn't, but I think they could definitely improve on what they're doing and put out more music and have stuff that works a bit better as well. But like, there's definitely room for improvement with this album, I think. But it's still but a it's really, a really good, solid album. But it's still like a it's, solid it's, album. It's, it's, this is the first our first introduction to Brockhampton. Is it their first album? No, it's oh, it's their second. They had a mixtape they put out last year, and it's their first. I guess it's their first album. But it's their first studio it's, album. It's their second piece of work. Then that's. Wow, but they've only been around a while. Like Keith, Keith only, oh, sorry, Kevin only put these guys together like a few years ago. So, so yeah, they don't even really have like big years under their belt. So that's that's very good effort for like. Mm. I really enjoy this album. I prefer the first half because of how memorable it was for me. Even though I've listened to it many more times, because um, we this is a two. Oh yeah, I've listened so. to the first ten tracks so many times. Yeah. I had to keep like stopping myself from listening to the eleventh. But now, I, now I don't have to. So it feels like we get higher energy hits in the first top 10 and then it kind of tapers um, off in the last seven this definitely sounds like an album where the more you listen to it the more you'll like it because there's just so much going on i don't think this is one which you can, you can instantly be like you either hate or love it i feel like the, the time this album will really give you how you feel about it so i think going with this, yeah. this more you guys did a great job um I look forward to finding out more about them. I don't know a lot of heaps about them at all. Yeah, I feel bad for going into this without really digging too much into because I only really know Kevin Abstract. I don't really know the other guys. So, so guys, please educate us. Like, just comment below. Let us know. Like, if you found out some interesting stuff about them. Yeah, uh, more about these guys. And you know, really enjoy the album. Tell us what you thought. Um, be curious to know what the consensus because so many people ask for it. Mm. Otherwise, please support us on Patreon if you can. A dollar a month would help a lot. Mm -hmm. Otherwise. Big fish theory. I was up late now balling. You want that over there? You want that over there? I got you. I was up late night balling.